20 minutes to 10. I wanted to talk about what's going on in New York at the moment. It's uh, it's pretty amazing stuff. It's, well, it's pretty extraordinary uh, in terms of precedent. Uh, it's not often that you get a sitting American president that calls for a governor to resign, certainly not on the same political team uh, or politically aligned, if I can put it that way. But Andrew Cuomo is facing also a fast-moving investigation by the Democrats, his own party, that could make him the first New York governor to be removed from office in more than a century after a report concluded that he had sexually harassed 11 women. A fellow called Carl Heasty, who is Speaker of the State Assembly in New York, promised that the Democrats who control the legislature there would move expeditiously to finish their impeachment investigation having already concluded that he can no longer remain in office. We're joined this morning by Dave Boyer, who's the Chief White House Correspondent for the Washington Times in Washington. Dave, uh, good morning. Good evening, your time. Hi, Liam. How are you? Look, I'm fascinated by by this uh, situation with Andrew Cuomo. It wasn't so long ago he was a complete hero, and uh, now he's well and truly the villain, isn't he? It's it's true. If you remember a year ago, he won an Emmy, which is you know the big TV awards for his daytime uh, press conferences during the COVID, the worst of the COVID pandemic. He was so good at uh, portraying um, uh, a leader in control and taking charge of a horrible crisis that he was uh, he was awarded with an Emmy, and now he's uh, he's in disgrace. Well, Dave, help us out here. I mean, interpret this for me, because a part of me thinks. He's been politically set up. And then another part of me thinks, hang on a minute, 11 women, they can't all be wrong. No, I don't think there's anything, anybody here who believes he was set up except a governor and a small a dwindling circle of his loyalists. Um, like you said, when you have 11, 11 different women all um, accusing him of sexual harassment, including, I might add, a state trooper who was um, tasked with uh, protecting him, giving him security. Uh, uh, there, there's uh, there's a lot of um, evidence against him. There's also a call from the county prosecutor in Albany to encourage victims to come forward. Does that mean they think that perhaps there are more and there could be a criminal prosecution? Yes, well, there was one victim who uh, to date has remained anonymous, and she had accused uh, the governor of groping her at the governor's mansion. And that is the one that comes closest, I believe, and, and maybe the one with the, the female state trooper to being a, an actual criminal offense as opposed to a, a violation of their civil uh, civil law. So um, they're, they're still trying to persuade, I think, this woman uh, who's been unidentified to come forward and file a complaint because without a victim per se the police can't can't move forward it's, it's an incredibly big position isn't it governor of new york in the american sort of political scheme of things and when you have the president coming out saying yes he should resign and he belongs to the same party is it only a question of time dave oh yes cuomo is one of the most powerful governors and i believe in the history of the country he's already in his third term he wanted to go for a fourth term next year to surpass his father, uh, Mario Cuomo, who was a three-term governor of New York. Um, he, as you said, he's, he's very close to President Biden. He attended uh, the funeral of President Biden's son a few years ago. Um, he, he worked as a cabinet secretary in the Clinton administration in Washington. Um, he, he's got a lot of juice, and uh, for, for him to be brought down in this manner is, is uh, shocking. What do you think the public perception of his defence is? Because he still seems to be running around uh, both personally and through his lawyers saying, listen, this is a a generational and cultural misunderstanding of of him and his habit. You know, he's an Italian-American man in his 60s. He always hugs and kisses colleagues. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people are buying it. I do I do agree with you that it's a generational thing and the younger you are, the less likely you are to, to buy that argument. But um there's there's almost nobody defending him the labor unions in new york who were his biggest uh, supporters are abandoning him the democratic party chairman of new york state who was essentially hand picked by uh, governor cuomo to lead the party uh is is uh, has abandoned him uh there are very very few people left who are, who are supporting him well well come on dave let's call it you're pretty good at these things how long would you give him 
Well, you know, his office uh, said this evening, it's nighttime here in the East Coast, that uh, he will participate with the uh, assemblies, the Democratic Assembly's impeachment investigation. So that sets up this Shakespearean drama, you know, of a trial and a um, possibly bringing the women as witnesses forward to testify in public about what he did to them. And uh, it's going to drag on, it looks like at this point, for quite some time. All right. Well, that, that's fascinating. It's, he's not going to throw in the white towel straight away. All right. And No, I, I don't believe so. He's not going to resign. Just, just quickly on a related topic, I can't resist this, uh, seeing as I've got you there in uh, D.C. Um, look, uh, sad news about the U.S. Uh, swim team. Um, uh, look, I don't, yeah, you really, we really uh, smashed you there a couple of times. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry. Apologize on behalf of the country. I, uh, yeah, I can, I can feel your crocodile tears from here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Uh, hats off to the Australian swim team. They really have put on a great show in, in, in Tokyo. And uh, I think there's a, the, the men swimmers, I, I think did the, did a little bit better than the female swimmers on our, our side, but um, up and down the line, it looks like the Australians were, were had, did a great job. Well, you're getting your own back in track and field as you always do. So that's fair enough. Dave, thanks a lot for your time. Good to talk to you. You too, Liam. David Boyer, Chief White House Correspondent for the Washington Times over there in Washington, D.C.